the best pop album is Ray of Light, Madonna. Though she was still a press favorite, Madonna kept a low profile musically in the late 90s. That all changed on Grammy night 1999 when TV audiences witnessed her triumphant comeback. This is such a surprise and I'm so honored. After an eight year absence, a rejuvenated Madonna returned with a new look and hit album, Ray of Light. TV viewers watched her collect four Grammys. First and foremost, I must thank William Orbit. Without his vision and his brilliance, um, this album would not be. Working on this record with William Orbit was much more of a collaboration than I've ever been involved with in terms of really getting it up to somebody and like taking chances with somebody else. Ray of Light marked yet another rebirth for Madonna. It was her first album of new material since 1992's Erotica, and it found the 80s disco queen embracing an evolving dance scene. It's the record that restored a certain amount of respect and momentum for her recording career. The change in musical style mirrored the changes in Madonna's personal life. The material girl was now material mum. When I was writing that record, you know, after the birth of my daughter, I did feel like I had rediscovered a lot of things and was, to a certain extent, born again. Backstage, a determined Madonna ambushed the other Grammy success story, Ricky Martin. Hi, baby. Hi, love. How are you? There was a wide array of performers paying tribute to uh, uh, Senor Martin. Uh, Madonna did it with her lips. With a kiss, Madonna turned the press conference into a celebrity love fest. I'm just here to congratulate him. Isn't that amazing? Congratulations, you too. <laughs> like what every woman in America wanted to do, Madonna got to do backstage. Sorry, I just had to sneak up on Ricky Martin. He's so cute.